Permit you to use a visual aid. Oh, request a aid. unanimous consent for a visual aid. Uh, is there any objection? Hearing none, so ordered. Thank you. Colleagues, each of us brings unique skills to the legislature, and one of the ones that I've been told I have is um, the most interesting, I guess I should say, is that I'm known as being one of the best shoppers in America. So um, I say that to you because I've been listening to this BPA issue come up, and I heard testimony from um, the Senate floor that said, six, Senate Bill 695, that this bill is about helping mothers who don't know the risk of BPA. And it was followed by testimony that asked, do poor people deserve the same environment that people of higher economic status do? Not every mother has the same opportunities. This is about environmental justice. Then I heard a similar refrain from the governor on Friday that this bill would help low-income women have the same access to safe products that moms of higher socioeconomic status have. Then came the flood of emails asking what babies ever did to the legislature. One said that Republicans who don't sign this discharge petition are harming our children. About six different form emails hit my inbox in rapid succession. That's an extremely well-orchestrated media campaign. To set the record straight, I got in my minivan without coupons and I shopped and shopped and shopped some more. I hit 14 stores, spent over $500, and bought 252 items. When you leave the floor today, they'll be in a big container right outside that door. 121 of them cost less than $1.50. The lowest price BPA baby bottle was 97 cents at Fred Meyers. The highest price baby bottle was $8.99 at Whole Foods. Not shopping there for my BPA stuff. Convenience store baby bottle was $3.19 at 7-Eleven. So if this is about low-income women and social justice, then let's talk about where low-income women are shopping. Director Bruce Goldberg at the Oregon Health Authority told me earlier in the session that the highest participation in our food stamp program is at Walmart. How much is a BPA baby bottle at Walmart? $1.27. In fact, Walmart had the best overall value and variety for the money with just an average price of $1.54 per item. There wasn't a single baby bottle or sippy cup sold at Walmart that had BPA. There were 22 Walmart locations in Oregon, many in rural communities. There are 70 Dollar Trees. And yes, contrary to popular belief, there are BPA-free products at the Dollar Tree. And at Rite Aid, all drinking containers were BPA-free. Everything else that is not in the bill is being clearanced out at 75% off. Indeed, there are 573 stores and major chains where I can buy inexpensive baby bottles and sippy cups, all BPA free. In fact, manufacturers have already moved on without the help of the Oregon legislature. One can find everything from snack containers, bowls, and plates to dishwasher racks and nasal aspirators. So if the market has solved the problem for mothers, then why the need for the bill? How about fundraising? I attended a League of Conservation voter dinner that would, uh, they raised $100,000 on this issue. And I got an email last week asking for the same. So I will finish this remonstrance tomorrow and the rest of the week because I'm not signing that petition because you don't Time get to pander to my vote. Up. Thank you. Thank